welcome back to my channel if you're new here then welcome my name is Sarah today I'm going to be filming a what's on my iPhone video these videos are super popular across YouTube and even I catch myself watching them every once in a while um, and also I ask my Instagram followers all the time what videos that they would like to see next and this video is always 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 requested and I've been wanting to film it for you guys but I wanted to wait until I got a newer version of the iPhone. I had the iPhone 8 up until last week and now I have the iPhone 11 in this blue color and I also have a cute case from I believe Target. My mom got it for me. Um, I'm assuming that's where she got it. Don't hold me to it. Um, I'm super excited to film this video so let's go ahead and get right into it. So beginning with my lock screen, this is me and my dog Rocco. He is a mini golden doodle. Um, he's always on my lock screen, but I change the picture every couple months. And right now it's me and him both. Um, this picture's from the summer. It's not recent, so don't judge. <laughs> um, but moving on into my actual phone, I like to keep um, only a few like pages of apps. Right now I only have two. Um, and on the very first one, I just have the calendar app and the weather app because when I wake up in the morning, those are the two things that I pretty much look for right away, what day it is and what it's going to be like outside. Um, so yeah, that's all that's on here. Um, and then my home screen is a quote that says, I know you've got this and you're going to be fine. Um, if you know me and you know my life, you know 2019 has not been so nice to me. Um, so I thought this quote was really appropriate for the end of the year. I usually change this quote um, about every single month. Um, so for the month of December, that's the quote that I have put. Um, so yeah, moving on, I like to organize my apps by their function and their purpose. So I have tools, YouTube, social life, Salisbury University, which is basically my school apps, um, self-care apps, my funds, and my shopping apps. So let's go ahead and begin with tools. So in the tools folder, I just have my voice memos, my compass, my calculator. The only reason I use the calculator app is to <laughs> calculate tips. So like if you have a $50 tip or a $50 bill and you want to add a 20% um, tip, it would be 10 bucks and you can just put equals and 60 is your overall total. That's the only, only, only reason that I use the calculator app. Um, you don't need, you don't really need it, but whatever. Um, the wallet app, which I love. I always have coupons and that is where I keep them and it's so much easier to keep them in the wallet folder. I mean, in the wallet app than to actually have physical coupons because I don't really carry around an actual wallet. So I love that app. Um, the measuring app, which I never used in my entire life. The find my iPhone app. Um, which I have used because I lose my iPhone often. Um, the Maps app, the Clog app, the Notes app, and my settings. Um, moving on into the YouTube folder, I have the app Bonto, which I just use to create thumbnails. Um, it's pretty much just fonts. It's really there's not really much you can do to your actual photos on that app. Um, then I have iMovie, which is what I edit my videos on 100%, like, the entire thing um, is done on iMovie. The actual YouTube app, Visco, which, if you would like to follow me, my Visco is Sarah M. Waters. I post every once in a while. I don't really post that often. Um, I mostly have Visco to edit my YouTube videos. I put filters on a few of them if I don't like how I'm looking. Then I have the YouTube Studio app, which is a lifesaver. If you are a YouTuber and you don't have this app, I'm not really sure how you're functioning, but basically it'll show you your watch time, your views, your subscriber change, and your estimated revenue for your videos. Um, I'm not monetized, so I don't really have any revenue, but we'll get there one day, hopefully. Um, and it'll show you like recent comments um, and how well your videos are doing, pretty much. Um, so yeah. Then I have Word Swag, which is another app I use to edit thumbnails. It's, these fonts are a lot cuter than the ones that are on Fonto. There's a couple examples at the top if you would like to see them. Um, that's pretty much what this app is. I don't think that you can edit pictures on this app either. And QCut is what I'm actually going to be editing this video on because I want to enter a screen recording in an iPhone. So I have to use QCut. You can really do that on iMovie and last but not least I have the Chrome app which 
I don't really use, I use Safari, but when I'm trying to change my banner on my YouTube channel, I have to have the Chrome app to do that and I have to change it to the desktop version. Is that just me or like is there an easier way to do that? Please let me know if you know because I don't need this app. <laughs> um, moving on to the social life category, I just have my Snapchat. Um, I'm not putting my Snapchat on my YouTube anymore. We already just started adding me and um, my Instagram, which I'm not gonna open because I think it might be open to my Finsta right now. I'm kind of scared. Oh no, okay, it's open up to my Instagram. My Instagram is underscore Sarah M1212. Go follow me there. I'll have it in the description if you forget. Um, I kind of started over. I don't really have many photos right now, but I'm working on it. Um, my Facebook app. Please don't add me on Facebook. I'm begging. My Twitter. Um, my Twitter is smw underscore 1212. Definitely recommend following me on Twitter. Twitter's my favorite app of them all. Um, my messenger app, which I really, really, really don't want on my phone, but like if someone messages me on Facebook, I can't get rid of the notification until I open it in the messenger app and it drives me insane. Um, then I just have my Safari app, which is the browser I actually use, and my mail app. I have two mail apps. This is for my primary, like, personal email, um, and my YouTube email. Then moving on to the Salisbury University category, I have a couple apps in here. Um, I just have the Outlook app, which is where I have my student email. Then I have my Canvas app, which is where my grades are. I got all A's this semester. Bragging a little bit on myself because it wasn't easy. Um, then I have the Quizlet app, and I don't recommend cheating in college, but I do recommend the Quizlet app for um, making like flashcards for yourself. I do not think that you should be cheating in college. If you're paying all this money, wouldn't you want to actually like learn? You feel? Um, so yeah, moving on from that, let's go to the self-care category. So now I'm on the Flow app, which is basically a app to track your period it'll tell you when you're ovulating when you're about to ovulate when your chances of getting pregnant are low um when you can expect to get your period all that jazz um so for example my ovulation day is tomorrow now you guys all know a little bit more about me um but you can also like add your sex drive um your mood your symptoms your vaginal discharge and other important category er, important important <laughs> um you can also add your weight how you slept and your water intake which does impact your period by the way so if you're a girl i definitely recommend getting this app it's a lifesaver and it's super simple to use and it also tell you like stuff that you don't you don't know about yourself moving on i have the my fitness pal app which is basically a weight loss app but i'm not currently trying to lose weight but if I was, my calorie intake goal would be 1,200 calories a day, which this would change if like you work out. Um, if you work out, obviously you can eat more. But my favorite thing to do on this app is track the food I'm eating, and that is because when you add like food, you can like add specific brands and like um, specific amounts, so you're not like guesstimating on the calories. You're getting a very accurate like the calories are accurate. <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. And then I have the health app, which I don't use, but you can delete it off your phone. Um, so yeah, moving on to the funds category, which I just have my 1880 bank app, which is a local bank. You guys can't use it unless you live near me. Um, cash app, my cash app is Sarah M. Waters, if you would like to send me some money. Um, Christmas is right around the corner. It is December 20th. Um, Zelle, which is actually my favorite um, money app because it's not really all that extra. It's super simple to use and to the point. And then I have Venmo, which I don't use Venmo at all, but I know some people do and that's the only way that they can send me money or I can send them money. So I just have it on my phone in case. And last but not least, I have the shopping category where I just have my Poshmark app, which I'll let you guys know what my Poshmark is. I have a couple things that I do want to put into my closet. Um, I haven't really updated it since I got a new phone and mine logged in, <laughs> so I'm not going to open it. Um, then I have the Arrive app, which is basically a shipment um, tracking app. 
Um, I have a couple orders on the way for Christmas, so I'm too scared to open it. I don't want you guys to see them. Um, but that's pretty much what that app is. It just tracks your packages, so you don't have to go to your email and like type in your tracking number, all that. You don't have to do that. You just go to the right app. Um, then I have Amazon. If you guys watched my Christmas gift idea video, you know I am a Amazon whore, so it's only right that I have the Amazon app. Um, and then I have Yelp, which is a review app for restaurants and stuff like that. Um, the App Store, which you're probably like, Sarah, that is not shopping. But like, it is. You go on there and spend money. If you, can sp if you spend money, it's shopping. Um, and then last but not least, I have the DoorDash app, which I don't really use either unless I'm at school. And even then, I don't really use it because I don't go to school in a big city. So like, it's easier to just go get the food than paying that extra like delivery fee. I'm a college student. I can't really. I'm really struggling right now. I'm um, struggling a little less because my birthday just happened, but I'm still struggling. So yeah, that's pretty much everything that is on my phone. I hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Please make sure that you guys are subscribed and make sure that you give this video a huge thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Bye.